Welcome back, everyone. Toys is here, and I am back yet again for yet another McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse News update. Happy Friday, everyone. How was your week? Hope everyone is doing well. Looking forward to the weekend, I'd imagine. Lots of stuff coming out, getting shipped in. It's 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 a lot. It's a lot for the old collection, that's for sure. So I hope a lot of you are watching those credit card bills, saving that cash, and really picking and choosing to only get the stuff that you want. You're more than welcome to live vicariously through my channel because that's what we do here. We talk about the latest and the greatest. And speaking of which, we got a lot of figures to talk about today, but a clear warning to you all, they are all... Batmans. Not even joking. Every single figure that we're talking about here in this video today is Batman. <laughs> McFarlane doesn't just make Batmans. Well, this video will say otherwise. Before we get started, as always, if you are interested in anything we're going to be talking about here today, which again is a lot of Batmans, I will put affiliate pre-order links down in the description below. Thank you so much for using my links. It helps the channel to grow. So, first and foremost, <laughs> I always I already see how this is going to go. So, let's let's just kick it off with this one. As a and a lot of you might go, "Okay, well, this is not a big deal then." This is a McFarland store online exclusive from the DC versus Vampires line. That's a Walmart exclusive. This is Batman Ah, I told you what we were in store for. This is the <laughs> Nightmare Edition black and gold vampire Batman. Not for me, not one I'm getting. I'm curious for those of you out there who will be picking this up. I know a lot of you do like the variants, and that's not a problem at all. As I always say, you like what you like. You know, there's no problems either way. People like Funkos. Just keep that in mind. And Beanie Babies. Remember those? <laughs> It doesn't matter. We're all nerds for something. But this black and gold color scheme, while, okay, I'll give it to him. It's eye-catching and whatever. It's just not something. It's not something for me. I think a lot of people would be more interested, especially because it's the spooky season, which I'm going to say is probably the reason for this one. Just bring back the Batman. Like, put those back in stores because that's kind of fun. Maybe put a little bit more blood, something like that. Yeah, it would just be a lot more interesting. It's going to be one of those big old box sets. They make it all fancy. It's like a gift, but it doesn't do it for me. It's it's a very antiquated idea. They keep doing it. They seem to sell, though. I don't know how well they sell, but they seem to sell enough, which prompts them to make more. So again, if you want this, these are limited to 5,250 pieces. So walk, don't run over to the McFarland store if you so choose to pick one of these up for the old DC Multiverse collection. Moving on. So these are going to be at mass retail. They'll be online, Amazon. You get the idea. This is Batman Noel. This is a redo of the prior released Batman Noel that was, and I really had to look at it. I was asking my friend, you know, they already did this one. Yes, he was more in like a weird greenish kind of color scheme. Like it kind of had, I would say, comic book shading to it in a way, but in the color scheme itself, not like actual cell shading, comic book shading. It was just kind of one of those weird tones that they chose. It's a cool looking Batman. It really is. This time around, though, he will have a wired cape. So for those of you out there that like that kind of thing, I tend to go either way. I think what they've done recently with all the wired capes has been really good, but not all of them are like, oh, that's perfection. It's kind of like, eh, I wish this was a little bit different. Now, in terms of accessories, he's going to have a couple extra hands and a batarang to hold, even though I will say for me, how they kind of do batarangs. It, it, again, it's like a mixed bag. Sometimes you go, okay, that's an appropriately sized batarang. For this one, it's entirely too big. That's a giant Batarang right there. Here he is all boxed up, ready to go. If you like Batman Noel, you can pre-order him down below with my links if you so choose. Next up, we have Batman Beyond from the Neo-Gothic story, storyline, recent set, I think, of six it was a miniseries kind of thing, six comics. I read this prior and I hadn't read it before. I knew what it was, but I just didn't get into it because I don't really like the Batman Beyond costume that they went with for this art style. For me, you look at the old Batman Beyond cartoon. That is 
perfection. It's sleek black. When he has wings, the red pops out. It's very simple. It's very angular. Too much with the red. It stands out too much. It makes it less Batman Beyond, and it makes it into something else, especially with the logo that they've gone and everything else. Now, I'm not faulting McFarlane Toys because in totality, they are making exactly what the comic book character looks like in the sense of Batman neo-gothic. So, Yes and no on this one. Yes, in a way, in a weird way, because I am a big fan of Batman Beyond. You can make up your own headcanon. I like kind of the body style they've gone with, but at the same time, it's some reuse of the legs. You can see those weird boot kind of things that they do. McFarlane Toys, I know reuse is key, but how about smart reuse? You know what I mean? Like, maybe we do different legs and then have those without the weird little boot things on them because it takes away from the aesthetics of the character. The fingertips are painted red. Again, that always looks like they dip their hands into Cheetos, something like that. It just, it looks, it's like a Spider-Man thing too, which I know you can say Batman Beyond, Spider-Man, the correlate. We're not getting into that. Once again though, the wings while they are angular, while they are cool, it looks like those wings are going to be permanently attached unless you get to do something, kind of how we originally talked about and I showed you in my Batman Beyond videos from some time ago for McFarlane. You could heat it up, you pull the whole backpack off. It, it was a thing. Perhaps you could do that here. I don't know why they keep attaching the Batman Beyond wings. He doesn't have them 24-7 why can't it just be a thing you put on, you leave on? It, that, now, when you get the figure and they're easy to pull off, fine. That, they, well done. Great job. But in no promo photos do they show that the wings are removable. Even in you know the general layout where you see everything that comes with it, you got extra hands. One of the hands is holding a sculpted in battering. I like that. You know I like that. So that's a nice touch. You get the card. The card looks great in terms of the artwork i guess i guess that's pretty close and you get the flat black stand so again as it is batman beyond i am interested not pre-order interested but interested enough that if i see it in stores and i go okay i get to see it yeah it looks pretty cool he's got a very angular jaw to him too which exactly represent the neo-gothic storyline which let me just tell you about that storyline real fast why is it so hard to write a Batman Beyond tale? Years ago, now th this is when I was a kid going into my teenage years when Batman Beyond came out. Bruce, Tim, Paul Dini, they always talked about in their interviews for Batman Beyond. They go, we never wanted to do like Catwoman Beyond and you know, Riddler Beyond and that kind of thing. In Batman Beyond the cartoon, they smartly brought back key characters that wouldn't make sense. Mr. Freeze, that makes sense, especially with what they did with the head thing and all that kind of stuff. Bane came back as a drug addict, essentially. Harley Quinn aged to, you know, an old woman, so she was good. The Joker didn't really come back. It was like a nanotech, nanobot construct kind of thing using human flesh. That was a whole thing to think about. But smartly, and I think one of the Best and creepiest ones was Ra's al Ghul with how they brought him back. But in the Batman Beyond comics, they bring back every single character now, including Killer Croc, who's now like a Killer Croc Godzilla. John Constantine, he comes back. He's evil or whatever he was. Poison Ivy, Swamp. It's like, can Terry McGinnis, and thankfully, yes, this is Terry. Bruce has now died. Can you just make him do his own villains like you bring back the Court of Owls. It's just so dumb. And then you have the Batman beneath. <laughs> Man, that cartoon was good. It just, some of the episodes don't exactly hold up, especially with some of that digital paint and all that kind of stuff. But Batman Beyond was awesome. So we'll just keep it at that. The comic books, which this is based off of. Oh, my God. I, I just don't even know anymore. Rant over about Batman Beyond. Next up, we have the Silver Age Batman and Ace the Bat Hound. If you order the recent Silver Age Joker, uh, you got a Batman to go with him now. Dick Sprang looking. That's pretty cool. You got the blue, the black of the cowl, the head. That's really nice. And then you got the trunks, little shading. 
I like this. This is something I will definitely be grabbing, even though yet again, it's another Batman. But he comes with a dog. Ah, so you got Ace the Bat Hound. Essentially, you get it for Ace the Bat Hound, and he comes with a, a Batman accessory. Think of it that way. Batman does have a wired cape. He has a battering. Ace the Bat Hound. Unfortunately, he's going to be like crypto. No articulation. And that's kind of a bummer because I really wish they would articulate these core key animal sidekicks in that way. That would be nice. I like the mask. Ace does have his collar. He's got the little bat insignia on the collar. Batman comes with extra hands and the usual batarang. This is one I will be grabbing. I like this. So in totality, sure, could have used a little bit more articulation on the dog. But yeah, other than that, that's pretty solid. I'm definitely digging this one. Now, Moving on to Amazon. This is going to be an Amazon exclusive. This is, and I'm going to just call it because it reminds me of the old Kenner days and into Hasbro and then kind of into Mattel, that kind of thing. I'm just going to call him Hang Glider Batman. I think that's a great name for him because that's exactly what this is. You got a Batman figure, which is a reuse. I believe he has a new head portrait. And then you have this big old Hang Glider system, which that looks good. Now, this is from the comic book storyline, The 13th Hour which I'm not going to be able to tell you much on that one other than, yes, he does use a hang glider in that storyline. This Batman has been updated with a cloth cape. Based on the photos, based on what I'm told, it doesn't look to be a wired cape. It looks to only be a cloth cape. Most likely, if it's not wired, it's due to kind of hooking him into the harness and whatnot. So kind of remains to be seen. He comes with the usual battering, the bat grapnel we've seen. One thing I'm going to point out, though, he does come with a flight stand. And I'm going to be honest with you. Very rarely do DC Multiverse figures work in these really just kind of wibble wobble multiverse stands. They, they don't really work, especially the bigger the character I can't foresee this working all too well. That thing is going to fall over left and right. I'll eat my words if it's if it works out. But based on things that I've done recently, and we sure look at a lot of DC Multiverse figures, no, I, I don't see that working. Although, you do get a base, and you get a nice backdrop of Gotham City. Now, the backdrop is going to be cardboard, but the stand will be plastic with a sticker on it. The box looks good. Batman with the Bat Glider from... The 13th hour. Not too shabby at all. Amazon exclusive. Nice window box packaging. It's a nice... That, to me, is a nice set. That's like an old school, like, Batman with some kind of device on him. But again, for modern audiences. So it's not going to be some orange and blue gaudy glider with a Batman figure. It's just Batman with a nice, cool Batman the Animated Series. Ah, you know what I'm talking about there, especially with the Hard Act episode. And then kind of had a different glider situation in TNBA. But lo and behold, so yes, I would say this one for me, I will definitely be grabbing. Not to use with this Batman, though. I think I'll use it with other Batmans. And that's another thing to point out. Hopefully this glider can be used with other Batmans. And hopefully it's not just slated for this one. But again, with articulation and everything, it should be good to go. So... That is going to wrap it up for my quick look at some of the brand new Batman offerings from the McFarland Toys DC Multiverse line. Some store exclusives, some main lines. What will you be picking up? Are you just kind of over Batman? I think that for myself, it's like these aren't bad offerings, but I mean, let's say this. We have really been seeing a lot of other core characters, Justice League or otherwise. So I'm not too hard up about these being all Batman. We really have been getting a lot of cool other than Batman characters. And for that, I am appreciative. So it kind of goes hand in hand. Yeah, if you got to make some extra cash and get some Batmans going, so be it. Just make sure that next go around is less Batman and more key component characters, new characters like <laughs> like Effigy. Which is, hey, I have a video up now with the question and shining eye if you want to check it out. So, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most important, remember, when it comes to DC Multiverse, there are a lot of non-Batman related characters. You can't dispute that anymore. But now we need some female characters. And I'll say that again and again. And villains, too. Don't forget the villains. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.